Sunday. Is what you see on TV talk shows really what you get? A male sex surrogate. You mind telling me what's going on here? You just interviewed an actor. Studio 5B. Then Bette Midler has been kidnapped and Danny DeVito could care less. I dare you to kill him. I'm being marked down. Network television premiere of Ruthless People Sunday. Tomorrow. All the world's a stage. <laughs> and this one's set for murder. This is getting serious. MacGyver. Then, Colombo is back. Oh, oh, no. With all new baffling cases. I'm confused. Blood. Yeah. Suicide. Suicide. It couldn't have been suicide. The man was murdered. Peter Falk returns on the Monday mystery movie, Colombo. Following MacGyver tomorrow. You can't believe anything you see. This is ABC. When I say, when I say sharp, copiers. When I, when I, when I say sharp, computers. Sharp, sharp. When I say sharp, I mean calculators. I mean fax machines. I mean typewriters. I mean business keys. When I say sharp, I mean business. From sharp minds come sharp products. When I say sharp, I mean business. Hey. Everybody needs a good place for his stuff. In fact, videotape is just a place to keep all the good stuff you see on TV. There's funny stuff, there's scary stuff, there's the kid stuff, there's your wife stuff, there's even your stuff. But don't tape your stuff over your wife's stuff. And no matter what stuff you put on Fuji videotape, you'll always get a clear picture and great sound. So where are you going to put your stuff? My place or yours? Fuji videotape. Put the good stuff on the good stuff. Tuesday, a leading citizen is murdered and his own family becomes suspect. That bastard was all over me from the time I was nine years old. I do not see how our sleeping arrangements concern the police department. A terrible secret becomes a baffling mystery. Incest happens. Not in that house. As a scandal in a small town turns deadly. He molested her when she was a child. She is lying. How we got a murder case got to come to an end. A shocking season premiere. Are you ready for this one? In the heat of the night, Tuesday. Tuesday, Matlock takes Manhattan when he uncovers a sexy scandal that shakes the Big Apple to its core. Then a terrible secret becomes a baffling mystery. Incest happens. Not in that house. In the heat of the night, then he was a man of the streets. Now he's on the air. And this is where radio gets exciting. Midnight Caller on all new Tuesday night. The holiday classic It's a Wonderful Life is now a wonderful musical. See George and Mary Bailey. Oh, well, for you. Nasty Mr. Potter. I hate the Baileys. Lovable Clarence. George, you'll help me earn my wings, won't you? This holiday season, discover America's Christmas Carol. Discover It's a Wonderful Life, the musical. Now playing at Circa 21 Dinner Playhouse. Call 786-7733 for reservations. Coming up next, it's Cheers, followed by the KWQC Sunday Night Movie Slapshot. All right here on Channel 6. something to say about that, cousin lady. I've decided to contest the old Skinflint's will. I suppose you haven't made any progress in trying to get your hands on her money. Anyway, I do not intend to wear any kid gloves to get that money. After all, he didn't wear any when he was making it, either. My father was his partner. And he and Sir James had exactly equal shares of the company, only when my father died during the war, Sir James rigged the records to gain control. So my mother and I were left without any money and robbed of our share of the company. The great Sir James Cook was, in other words, just another war profiteer and crook. Your father was a lazy bastard who was always trying to cheat Papa. And my Papa's not a crook. He really worked to get rich. Why are you sticking up for your father now? You've never got along with him. It's just because he's my father and conceived me that I must show a little gratitude. And anyway, the value of a man isn't usually recognized till after his death. He even gave shares to many of his loyal employees. Miss Patricia is one of those progressives who talks of sharing the wealth, but enjoys swimming in the pool of capitalism. Hmm? 